Hello? What's going on? Ah, let's see. How's it everybody? My name is Philip. Today, we're doing a gear review on the headlamp. Welcome back to Travel Talk, the channel we talk everything travel and I'll answer all your questions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss out on any more travel tips and advice coming in future videos. One of my most favorite travel essentials is a headlamp. I love them. They are so handy and useful and no trip is complete when you're going camping on an adventure trip even at home, when you have a power failure, they are so handy to have, quick and easy to use. So let's get into the review. I also put a link in the description below. You can click on if you wanna see more reviews on it, uh, more technical data, and also if you would want to find where you can buy one for yourself, you can all just use the link for that. This particular headlamp I'm gonna to talk to you about today it's the Eonon LED headlamp. It is a very useful little light. It's very bright. This particular one has four settings and you control it on and off and change the settings by this easy to find and it has a nice rubbery grip button at the top. So you won't struggle fumbling around in the dark trying to switch it on. It has a very bright beam. This bright one can shine over 150 meters. That's close to 500 feet. So it's very bright. And if you have it on this high beam, the battery will last you for about four hours. So I tend to use it on the low beam, which will give me about 30 hours of light with this charge. Then the third setting, the strobe light, and the red lights. The strobe lights I would use if we doing a summit or night hike and I need people either to know exactly where I am when, or you can use it when you're cycling at night as an extra safety light. You put on the strobes and you make it point backwards so people can see you from behind. The red light I use at night when there's a lot of insects around. <laughs> Nothing more annoying when you have your lights on and there's insects and moths and all kinds of in your face when you're trying to eat or make food or pitch a tent or whatever you want to do at night. They're all up in your face. So I put the red one on and it doesn't attract the insects nearly as much as the brighter white light. And like I said, it's rechargeable. So with the headlamp, you get the charging cable, mini USB cable, and it has a small dust proof, waterproof little cover there. Plug it in, plug it in the USB and it takes about four to five hours from when it's completely flat until it's fully charged. What I also like about this particular one, it has a waterproof rating of an IPX4. <laughs> but what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything to me. IPX4 means it is splash proof from all directions. So if you're going to use it in the rain, it's not a problem, it'll work. Obviously you can't really keep it submerged, but who goes swimming? Well, maybe some people do go swimming with a headlight. But in the rain, not a problem, you sort it. Another nice feature that I like, is you can adjust the angle of how it sits on your head. So with this very bright light, you don't want to look someone directly in the face and in the eyes. It's quite blinding and annoying. 
someone talks to you, they obviously don't realize because they can see your face quite clear. But in the meantime, you're blinding them. So just tilt it down, the strap, also adjustable. It's nice and easy to adjust. So you can just pop it on, switch it on, change settings as you need. I have a disco party and you're ready to go. You might be camping out in the wild and you don't have spare batteries or well, you don't need them. You don't have a PowerPoint. And I've talked about it many times is to have an external power bank. You can have a look. I'll put the link up in the cards about the full review of the Anchor Power Bank. One of my other essential traveling pieces of equipment. It's very lightweight. It sits on your head nice and comfortable. Like I said, it's not going to bother you. You'll have both your hands free to do whatever you like. You can keep it in a drawer at home. If there's a power failure, you can just grab it or in a side pocket of your bag, coat pocket, trouser pocket, small, handy, very powerful. There you go. Brilliant piece of equipment, travel essential. It's very cheap, very affordable, great quality. I never leave home without it. And until we talk again, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video. We'll talk again real soon.